Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings, Forex. Welcome back. So let's take a look again on the Forex market. Um, today, as usual, we prepared the report. So uh, in this report, I have decided to cover a bit the topic of the Japanese yen. It's just because... Don't scare about it. I, the report is not dedicated at all to the Japanese yen. But in recent few weeks, I've got a few um, private messages there were people who were concerned about the performance and they were asking about well yen is so weak so maybe J bank of japan intends to make the interventions maybe it's a great idea trying to buy the japanese yen and make the long position on it it means on the charts that you see this is short position so um whether this uh, really trade whether this trade is ready uh, to start and uh, in today's report, I have explained and trying to explain shortly what the actual problem with that. So what, what particular makes me stay aside from this uh, idea and why I do not support it. Because Japanese yen and then Japan itself economically stands in a really deep hole right now. And uh, this will be no simple solutions because steps that we, they could take in economy, for example, to increase rate, they in fact are political uh, because they will change the big amount of cash flows out from the United States to the Japan. And as you understand, it's really a big problem for United States might be. That's why this market right now is very politicized. And uh, from that standpoint, it is not really a good idea trying to make the bets on this stuff. At least if you, maybe you could use very small trading volumes if you would like to, but when you read it, you understand what I'm talking about. A second moment that we have covered in the report is a new strategy of the United States uh, authorities, and the Fed and the United States Treasury, what they intend to do. Recent Fed meeting and uh, data that we've got, comments from the Jeanette, Jeanette Yellen, discover a bit uh, the idea what and, and, and then the direction that they intend to follow in terms of the domestic policy, financial policy, fiscal policy. Uh, and why uh, we think that investors will treat it wrong and make the wrong investment steps. So, but at the same time, this strategy should and stand in favor of our suggestion that Euro United States dollar current currency pair should keep going lower. Not because of the United States dollar is attractive currency and not because uh, that it's really worth it the investment. We actually think in reality an opposite. But uh, the way how markets are treat this policy i mean policy of the fed and the united states treasury and overall situation in the united states economy since they they are treated wrong and think in the, in in the old patterns this will together with the tools that fed and the united states treasury have right now it will support the trend and will keep disparity between the united states dollar and europe in euro in terms of the economical statistics that we will see a rate differential that we that will hold and remain on the market all the stuff should support this existence trend so currently based on our fundamental view we do not see uh, chances or some healthy background that this long-term downside trend should be broken yes we, will, we could get this this type of action pullbacks on daily charts and its name may be significant but in the longer term, uh, the euro should uh, keep falling against the United States dollar, at least un until the end of this year. This is our suggestion based on information that we have. Now let's go directly to the trading process that we will intend to do on the next week. 
First of all, you could see that um, on a daily chart, market very fast has reached next resistance level. So previously, I already explained the, the way how we should treat this upper direction when we combine daily and weekly timeframes. We have major downside tendency that is based on the weekly direction, weekly trend direction. Uh, it means that until this tendency is valid, in other words, until the MACD on the weekly chart stands bearish, and if we do not have any bullish directional patterns, such as the Brent Butters, Double Repo, some, and others, we fade upper action on a daily chart against strong levels, ignoring the trend direction on the daily chart. So for us, this is the chance to step in with the weekly tendency. But we need to choose correct levels for that and control the entry process, trying to catch on some bearish patterns on lower time frames as well that could just make it easy to do this. So since market was not able to turn down from this level, although it has made an attempt, we already talked about this, it jumped to the next one, as we have predefined and we talked about this in Thursday and Friday. And now let's take a look, first reaction down started. We also do not know whether market will stop here and start dropping for now. But this is an area where we could make the next attempt to go short because weekly trend is still bearish. This is for those guys of you who trade on a weekly daily basis. So obviously for stop placement, we will use the area above the confidence level. So this is in, in general logic that we have. On the four hour time frame chart, formally you could see that we already have pattern, the pattern. And we talked about this already. This is nicely looking guardly cheaper to sell. And take a look with this retracement on Friday, it hasn't reached yet the minimum target, which is 1 or 7.30. Triple two treats as it completed, if at least, it, it at least will reach the 30% support. And this level is not reached yet. It means that it is relatively safe, especially taking into consideration the strong resistance area that we have here. It's relatively safe to consider taking the short position, once again, for the weekly, daily timeframes. Uh, at the same time, some risk exists just because take a look that our prediction was relatively fast. Um, so when this acceleration stands with the ABCD, uh, it very often leads to upper continuation to the XOP target. But it's still uh, some chance exists that markets a bit overreacted on the difference between the expect expectation on the perils report and, and uh, fact numbers actual numbers on the perils difference was not really very big, especially with the upside revision of the previous data. Uh, and taking into consideration that we have strong level on high time frames, daily is stronger than the fall time frame chart. Chances that market could start dropping here uh, are not really bad. So uh, on the hourly chart, we have completion of our hand chores, which was really fast, even I do not expect it, this will happen so fast. Sexual PSB has, has been done perfectly with this pattern, and now this hand chores would not need it anymore, and it is done. So this level we also do not need, and take a look. On Monday, I would consider a possible upper bounce to one of these levels, to consider taking the short position. Um, it's around 107.85. Still levels 50% and 618 resistance. Why? Because the final part of the sub prediction stands as a great thrust. And in fact, here we have a kind of the brand and body trade. So I'm not sure that reversal will start right from here. So if you need to get the fine tuning of this trade, you could drop your time frame even more and watch for some clear patterns. It might be some godless cheaper to sell. Uh, maybe it will be even some higher upper prediction. Butterfly will be formed around it. It's also possible. But uh, the thing that we could say is that around 1 or 7, 80, 1 or 8, 35, which is the upper border of this confluence area, we will consider it for taking the short position. So for now, it seems that uh, the brand body has limited upside potential just because of these two moments that we explained. So strong resistance area, completion of this strong target, it's already done. So not necessary to keep going higher in this and some overreaction on the data. So it, it makes sense to see what will happen on Monday. Um, if we get here some clear bearish pattern around this area, it is possible to consider taking a short position with the stop above 
as I said, above the confluence on the daily, above this area, about, above 108.35. Of course, scalp traders also could consider bullish trade based on this thrust up with this upward continuation. It's also possible. So that and towards that we would like to, we, we intend to do in next week and see what will happen.